If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about the books that I DNF, so did not finish so far this year. It was one of my challenges last year to learn to put down books when I'm not enjoying them. Sometimes I do have the intention of going back. Most of the time I'm trying to learn to just not do it. If I'm not enjoying it, there's no point. There are so many other books that I want to read, even just on my shelf. So like, why am I wasting my time, right? So these are the ones that are either going to be on like never finishing ever ever in uh, what I call my pile of shame, which is basically books that I started, but I have yet to finish even though I want to. So not too many this year so far, but I don't think it's because I'm bad at putting them down. I just think that the books that I have been reading so far have been pretty okay or really good. So not too, too bad. Or maybe I just enjoyed hate reading them. <laughs> There's a few of those. So in May, I DNF'd two different books. So we have No One Is Talking About This, which now I know why, because it sucked. Um, <laughs> being a little uh, intense, but uh, the audiobook is five hours long. I listened to an hour and a half, and I, I don't know why this would be a thing. It's like a woman's like Twitter feed, basically. It seems like that's what it is. It sounds like it wants to be like a social commentary, I guess, but it just... It was just so boring. Like it was not going anywhere. It felt very disjointed. I don't know if it gets better. And at this point, quite frankly, I just don't care. Uh, the review seems to be fairly divided. Like at first I just looked at the rating whenever I had seen that book going around and wanted to try it. Um, like the title, the cover just ca caught my eye, right? And uh, I had just seen that the rating was pretty high and I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Maybe it was just not for me, and either way, it's okay. I got it from the library, so it's like no hard feelings. It got returned. I will not ever be picking that up. Even if the comments were to tell me that this is the best book ever, I, I don't care at this point. An hour and a half into it, out of five hours was enough. I tried. Okay, the next one, I feel bad about not finishing it, but I will not be finishing it. It will not be part of my pile of shame. Uh, it is When We Lost Our Heads, which uh, this one is a historical fiction. Uh, two young girls that become friends. At least that's what happens in the first 20%. Um, I don't know the rest. I don't remember. I don't really care. The cover is really pretty. And I've been wanting to try to read more historical fiction because it's really not my main genre. And uh, I just resent all the World War II that I've, <laughs> I've read so far. I wanted to try something different. And this one sounded appealing. I've been wanting to read more about female friendships. And this sounded perfect. And it is not the fault of the book. I think this is going to be a popular book. I just could not get myself to like listen to it. And frankly, I tried to listen to it a couple of times just before bed to like, you know, relax and would fall asleep on it. So like, again, no hard feelings to the book. This is definitely a me thing. If you like historical fiction, I do think you should give this one a shot if it sounds appealing to you. But I just couldn't connect. And I think I'm just admitting to myself that historical fiction is not my thing. And while there might be some exceptions here and there, I can just be okay with moving on. Like if 20% into it, I'm not feeling it, it's okay. Uh, in April, I only DNF'd one book and it was Sister Outsider. Big hysterics here. This is definitely part of my pile of shame. I do intend on continuing this one, but I listened to it as an audiobook, which I don't recommend. At least it just didn't work for me because uh, it's like essays and I just could not connect to the first one. And after that, I just struggle with the rest because it just, I just couldn't, it was a me thing, okay? I love audiobooks, but sometimes with heavier topics, it's just not the best way to absorb the message. And I really want to go back to uh, reading more by the author in general, but this one is still on my TBR. It will be part of my pile of shame. It's okay. Uh, one day I definitely want to finish it, but I think including it in this video will uh, hold me accountable. Hopefully. Because <laughs> like I've heard so many great things about the author and even this book. It, it's just the audiobook format just did not work for me, which it sounds like a lot of audiobooks are not working for me in here, but it's because I get those from my library and the waiting lists are shorter as audiobooks than like ebooks. So that's why I tend to get books that I'm not sure about that way. In March, I did not DNF one book. Was it a good thing? I don't know, but I didn't DNF one. I feel like my writing was kind of so-so earlier this year. Uh, in February, I DNF two, which that was not the best because I was doing my one week, one shelf challenge, which is a lot of fun, but it's also a good way to get rid of books that are not working for me. So I had two. The first one was the first book in the culture series, which I still want to continue reading because apparently they're like more companion novels than like a straight up series. I can hardly tell you what this was about. I it's a hard sci-fi and I barely remember <laughs> anything. It wasn't super memorable, but I just could not connect to the story. Like 
the main character things would happen to them and I just didn't care. Uh, I don't even remember how far I was into it, but I think it was about 50%, which is usually where I decide, okay, if I'm still not feeling it, it's fine to move on. So uh, definitely never finishing that one. Uh, and the last one is definitely the controversial one of this video, and it is uh, the first book in the Witcher series, which I've mentioned a couple of times how this is probably the worst book that I have read so far this year. I don't understand I don't understand the hype. I watch a TV show and understand the interest and I understand the interest in the world. It seems like it's complex and interesting. Character was like morally gray. The magic seems cool, but in the book, at least the first book, not like that at all. It's like a compilation of like short stories, and uh, you're s starting to get a hint of the world and uh, the main character. But it was just so full of misogyny. I just I don't understand how people just don't mention it. Like I was reading rave reviews before picking it up. I was so excited. I really wanted to get more about the witches, which I didn't get to a point where I got there. I think I was at page 100 and something. Let me grab my book actually. Okay, so I have my copy here, The Last Wish. Uh, I put it down at 164 out of like 280. I was just so tired. It was like nonstop. Every time a female character would be mentioned, they would be sexually assaulted or like there would be like a rape joke or like it was just really not good and like I know people will be like oh it's a dark world but you don't need that for it to be a dark world you just don't need it and frankly this is just the perfect example of the kind of fantasy book I personally don't have any more interest in reading I feel like there are so many available ones that I might as well actually be enjoying myself <laughs> like the worst part is that sometimes I feel like I'll be willing to let go a little bit of some of it, be like, okay, I guess it's the world, um, as long as the rest of the book is really good. But it's not. It's genuinely not good. I don't know if it's because it's translated in English uh, instead of, I think it's pol Polish. It's not good. It's straight up not good. And it's very, very inspired of like, um, is it the Grimm's stories? Like Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. But they just add a, s a lot. <laughs> A shit ton of sexism that's that's all it is um so yeah i didn't even get to the part with uh yennefer which i was really interested in but once i started complaining about all of this a lot of people told me that it wasn't worth it because it was going to be the same so it is what it is uh, i really wanted to love this but i will never <laughs> finish this i will be unhauling this whenever i do my unhaul uh mid-month the end of the month so yeah unfortunately this one is probably the one i'm the most sad about but at the same time not really okay so the next two i didn't want to admit to myself that they were dnfs because i'm still hoping i will finish them uh so they're officially part of the pile of shame because i really want to read them but for some reason i put them down and i just never continued i just got overwhelmed because i was reading like five or six books at the same time so no judgment uh definitely the shameful part of this video. Uh, the first one is a nonfiction, which is uh, The Demon Hunted World, Science as a Candle in a Dark, basically uh, using science to debunk, debunk uh, pseudoscience. So aliens, that kind of stuff. But this was published like 20, 30 years ago in 96. So like 25 years ago, 26 years ago. And I feel like I really enjoyed the topic I just can't stop thinking that I wish this was published like this year. I feel like it would be even more entertaining, but it just because, like I said, I was reading so many books at the same time. I think that's the actual reason I haven't finished it. There you go. I'm at chapter 12. So page like 200 in here. So like I was really enjoying it. It just, I got overwhelmed straight up. So I just need to get back into the habit. I was reading a chapter a day so you know 12 days and i just stopped because like i said i was reading too many books it's it's on me pile of shame 100 percent. i need to finish this this year but like i started in april so like two months <laughs> and i stopped reading it like a month ago so same thing because i was reading this one at the same time like i was saying i was reading five books at the same time uh this is brendan sanderson the arcanum Unbounded, which is a collection of short stories. I enjoyed the first one, and the rest so far has been kind of meh, like nothing was really that interesting. Page 420. So I, I read 400 pages. <laughs> so it's not like I, I wasn't enjoying it or 
I had no plans of finishing it, but I still have what, like 200? Yeah, I have almost 250 pages left, which isn't that much. Like, what is wrong with me? Why am I not finishing this? So like I said, a thousand percent, these two are the shameful part of this video. I don't know why it happened. I do know intellectually, but like, why did I not continue once I finished a couple of the ones I was reading? I kind of lost interest, I guess, because neither of them was like a favorite. I don't know. I don't know. The point of this is that these two could be great contenders for my pile of shame vlog whenever I do it this summer. So probably <laughs> I need to read them. So clearly these are the two that I'm the most annoyed at myself for not finishing. Last second edition, because I was editing the video and I realized that the audiobook I've been listening to, I'm not, not vibing. And I'm learning to put books down when I'm not enjoying them. So we're doing this. Um, My Heart is a Chainsaw, which is a horror book and I can't stand it. I'm like 11% into it. That is bad. Uh, so like an hour and 20 minutes into the audiobook and I just, I liked the like first chapter and then it kind of lost me. And horror books have been very unlucky and I'm learning that when I'm not into it right away, I will not be so. This is really, really difficult to admit that I'm never going to continue because that one, it's so early and I feel like it goes against everything, you know, I've been thought my whole life, everything I've always done, but no, we're learning. I'm not doing it. Hopefully you reassure me in the comment section for that one. <laughs> so at this point, how do I feel about the challenge? Even though I didn't really give it to myself for this year again, I do feel like I have improved in the sense that I do tend to put down books when I really realize that it's not going to work. I do feel like I still could work on it because I look back and there are a couple books that I forced myself to finish, but I feel like I know a lot of you are struggling with it. And I think it's a lesson that you kind of have to learn yourself. And I'm still in the middle of it because I just need to know. And then at a certain point, when you have read and finished, force yourself to finish a certain amount of books and realize that they never end up working. Like for one that might work-ish, there's like a hundred that don't. Uh, eventually you realize that it is an actual waste of time. So I think that I'm finally getting to that point where I'm becoming more and more comfortable putting down books that I'm not enjoying. Not perfect. Uh, I do feel like I will probably uh, struggle a little bit more, but that's why the uh, pile of shame challenge is a thing. I'm thinking about doing it again uh, this summer, probably July or August. I do have a few books that are in this video that might be added, but I also have quite a few from the past years. I feel like if I do it once a year, I get, you know, two or three out of the way. <laughs> uh, maybe eventually I will catch up. Not at this speed, but like still. Uh, definitely a fun challenge to do. I definitely recommend learning to put down books when you're not enjoying them and just teaching yourself that it's okay. Like, think about it properly. Like, do you ever end up enjoying them? Cause like, I feel like it is so, so rare that I change my mind. Like if at midpoint I'm not enjoying it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing about all the books that I did not finish and will never finish. Although some of them I hope to. <laughs> uh, thumbs up, subscribe, let me in the comment section what books you decided to DNF and never finish this year. I wanna know, I'm actually really curious. Uh, I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you in an upcoming video very soon. Bye. Again, kiss on a cheek or love and just like we